What's going? <clears throat> What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Pokemon Sage back for episode 11. Um, we are in this big town. I forget the name of it for some reason. Theronia City. And I put the egg back because I wanted to bring Tinder out. Uh, and the team's looking pretty good right now. We got three of them level 20 and three of them level 18. So I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Um, I forget who I talked to. I already talked to this guy. I came in that way. I don't think I have I been in any of these buildings. Have I talked to this person? Young trainer, are you the type of Pokemon gives your Pokemon? Oh, okay. Young trainer, are you the type who likes to giving your Pokemon nicknames? My husband, the name reader, lives right up the street. Go give him a visit if you're interested in that sort of thing. Am I? I mean, uh, if it wasn't already episode 11, I might think about renaming Vermont, but I've kind of grown used to it, honestly. Ooh, what's this? Oh, there's a route down there. There's a big building up here, and there's a Pokeball hidden over there. Let's get it. <laughs> Revive, nice. Alright, so first, since I get to this building first, I guess we should check it out. It's a big building. Our boss is truly amazing. After her family's business got ruined, she, re she rebuilt it on her own, making Minacorp the great company you see today. Minacorp. Oh, what a big, big empty room. <laughs> Welcome to Minacorp, producers of producers of goods for a brighter future. What's this? Nothing. Uh, uh, let's go to the second floor. I'll be back. Accounting, sales, advertising, shipping, there's so much more to business than just making products. That's true. And look at that. We are about two and a half minutes in and we got our first train, everybody. Woo! Yeah, we got our first train of the episode. <laughs> Three of us together make up Dronia's white collar recognition group. We strive to make more people aware that there is more to industry than just smelting and building. Alright. Droni is a city of manufacturing, but there's plenty of white collar work going on too. Yeah, okay, cool. This is the white collar floor. Please take me far from here. Okay, no one hanging out here. Oh, what the hell? Hi. In future versions, I will handle the Apricorn crafting system. Hope you're having fun. What? Is that, is that like supposed to be like a breaking the fourth wall, like meta or thing, like in future versions of the game? The Apricorn crafting system. Interesting. Is there just more crumbled papers in this trash can? So not as much going on in this building as I thought might be going on. What was this? You cannot visit the CEO without making an appointment. Her schedule is fully booked. I'll still try. Oh, I gotta walk all the way over there. Okay, whatever. What a pointless big ass building. So this guy like has a name, like he is known as the name reader. 
Sorry, the only name writer want me to write the name. Mm, I'm good. Well, he's got a nice house. I guess rating names pays pretty well. He did it for free for me, though. Museum. They have so many exhibits on Eurobo's history, but uh, I'll wait for the queue to die down a bit. Uh -oh. Don't tell me this is gonna be another one of those empty buildings. Got my pal Cub Zero here through a trade with a friend. Self grows really fast. It's definitely my ace, but it doesn't always listen to me because I only have one gym badge. Hmm. In Dronia, you'll find that the higher the floor, the more expensive the room. Did you know that in the past it used to be the other way around? The rise of elevators. The rise of the elevator really turned that right on its head. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Did you know that uh, you can only carry up to four Pokemon with you? What? Wait, I mean six. Man, I wish I could bring a whole box full. I agree. Did you know certain types of Pokemon are strong against other types? Like how poison type Pokemon are immune to steel type attacks? No wait, I think that's backwards. Also, I find it hilarious that Oryx is like half in in, like, in this kid. <laughs> that sounds gross. I apologize. My little brother and sister are learning the ins and outs of being Pokemon trainers. They have a long way to go, but they're slowly getting the hang of it. Alright, there has to be something worth, uh, worth it up here, right? La 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 la. Trainer, do you find my singing enjoyable? Sure. Thank you. You're very kind here. I want you to have this. Echo to voice. Okay. That TM contains the move Echo to voice. If your, Pokemon, if your Pokemon uses it in consecutive turns, it will steadily grow in power. It's quite lovely. I don't think any of my Pokemon really want to use that right now, but... I've lived in Dronia City for nearly my entire life. To think I've been around longer than some of these buildings have. It's a very strange thought. Hmm. What? Oh, I didn't even see there was a thing there. I thought it was just like a line in the, on the road. That look. Yes, you're undeniably a trainer. Tell me, which of these types is your favorite? Uh, probably fire. So like a fire type. Out of those types, it has the most resistances, but it's also weak to fairly common types. Hmm. Kids today sure do love superheroes. I just wish I didn't involve this much running and jumping around. <laughs> Seems to be looking around for something. My Potter's pickup ability is super cool. Sometimes I get really rare stuff. Yeah. Shout out to Cody. Oh man, I can't get up there. I tried to take on the gym, but I got thrashed. My ice type Pokemon stood no chance against those steel type Pokemon. Ooh, good to know. Good to know. Factories here produce most of the steel used in your robots. Some of it is even made from recycled scrap, like old sinks and pots. The scrapyard south of here is full of, well, scrap. Even the scrap that gets recycled to make more metal will likely eventually become scrap again. Come get your pot dogs. You, can I interest you in a pot dog? It's only 400. No, I'm good, man. No worries, I'll be right here if you ever change your mind. Aw, oh, man. I left home a minute late, and now I'm all the way at the back of the line. Have you heard about the new display? It's supposed to be over 3 meters tall. What? Where is it? I love to just sit here and watch the world go by. It's so relaxing. Are you waiting for the museum to open too? What part of the new ex exhibition are you excited about? 
Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you mean you're excited for all of it? Yes. The waiting isn't so bad since everyone here is a fan of history. We can all pass the time talking to each other. I'll be the first one in. I made sure to get here a whole day in advance. Wow. This is a big, t big city. That's strange. You see, I work for the Pokemon. I was out here giving away a free TM to whoever wanted one as part of a promotion we're doing. I had one left, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. Could someone have swiped it from me? What an odd thing to do, stealing something that's free. Man. That's just an easy way to say, hey man, I don't have a thing for you. <laughs> This is the name reader, right? Okay, yeah, so I have been here. Who is this, the gym? Droning a train station. The trains aren't running yet, and my little brother is driving me loco. <laughs> I like to stand here and watch the train come in and leave the station. The chugga chugga of the wheels and the choo choo of the horn are just too cool. for taking the train over driving my car. It's much cheaper and better for the environment too. Sorry, but due to high demand, we don't have any bookings available for train travel. Try going to other train stations along the route, like in Andante Bay or Vivace City, or is it Vivace City? They probably still have tickets on sale. I'm glad I've got a ticket. Sometimes you have to book months in advance if you want to go on a trip. As a young lass, I loved watching the billowing clouds of steam from the train as it arrived in the station. It's astounding to think that very train is still marveling youngsters to this day. My Pokemon loves riding on the train. It spends the whole ride with its little nose pressed against the window. <laughs> nope, sorry, I can't let you in without a ticket. Phew, you need to work hard to get ahead here, but everyone here also understands that. It's a great place to get friends by your side and blisters on your fingers. That doesn't sound enjoyable. Hmm. It's locked. Ooh. <laughs> Damn it. Not just a regular Pokeball, huh? And there's the gym. Dronia Gym. Leader Stella, the industrious metalsmith. Stella! Are those, are those R's? <laughs> hmm? What, what, what are you looking at? Like, maybe like that for it. This TM? No, no, I almost definitely didn't steal it from some dude in the park. Look, alright, I'll, I'll take it. I want nothing to do with it anymore. <laughs> the TM is a thief. Wow. Now go on, get out of here. Right. Kind of want to just talk to him again to see if he says anything. I promise, never steal again. Just please don't rat on me. Ooh, I'm normally working in the factory, but I'm on a well-deserved break right now. I'm getting chills. Hmm? No, I'm not afraid of the sea. The chills are coming from the cold breeze blowing in from the north. Oh. Ah, oh, burn heal, nice. Oh, I think we're almost done. The city was practically built by our gym leader's father. One of his daughters inherited the business, while the other inherited the factory floor. Hmm. Do you pay close attention to the abilities of your Pokemon? Some abilities are more useful outside of battle than they are during battle. Aren't Pokemon moves fascinating? Pokemon can only learn four moves at any given time, but there are so many to choose from. Each move has its own strengths and weaknesses. You could say that moves are a lot like Pokemon themselves, don't you think? You're not wrong. Pokemon have natures just like you and me, but did you know that different attributes can be boosted or weakened depending on your Pokemon's nature? I did! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> hmm, did I order two by mistake? Ah, oh, you seem like someone who could make use of this. Here, take it. A metronome, alright. 
A metronome increases the bass power of a move used in succession. For a musician like me, it has an entirely different use than it does for a trainer such as yourself. It's great that my grandson has a hobby, but he makes so much noise. <laughs> Hey kid, out of me and my, out of me and my pompadour. Who has the best pompadour? He has the best pompadour, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, look at that thing. It puts mine to shame. Grr, yep, yep. And here we have root eight. So is it, should I go to root eight first? Oh crap! Did I go in? I did go in there. Okay. It feels like I should go to root eight first. So let's do it. Oh, maybe I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry, but those kids are so adorable. I don't have the heart to tell them to move. <laughs> You'll have to come back later when they're done playing. Go away, we're playing. Oh god. So, I guess I gotta go to Route 9 first. Am I going the right way? Yes. Drony Scrapyard is past Route 9. Be careful, Pokemon disguise themselves as items there to trick unsuspecting trainers. Weird. North Route City, South Drony Scrapyard. East Route 10. Oh, berries. I'll take them. Ding, 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 ding. See if there's anything interesting. What is that, Platy Pow? No, this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. Is it water fighting? Is that sound? So that's kind of cool. Oh, all the way down, damn. Level 19, baby. Platy Pow. I'm definitely catching that if I see it again. <laughs> I just didn't think that confusion would okay. Ah, oh, <laughs> it's one of these things. Double. Get kicked. Ow. a little less strong. Jeez. Maybe Oryx is just too strong. <laughs> oh, I need to cut to get that one anyway. And I didn't even get the item. <laughs> Alright. Maybe I should double kick instead. Critical hit. Oh, it's resisted. It's resisted. So, things that resist fighting a psychic flying. Um, psychic flying poison? Ooh, maybe it's fighting poison type. Oh, my speed. <laughs> I 
gotta do this. Okay, fell asleep. Um, yeah, let's go, Cody. Yeah, it's not a water type. Okay, so it's probably poison fighting. That's why the psychic type moves were just blasting them. Okay. That's kind of just, I guess because they they probably use that because the platypus has like a poison barb in real life. That's why it's part poison. Interesting. Yeah, okay, cool. Predators that don't pay heed to Platypow because of its tiny size are quickly surprised by, a fire, by its fiery nature and its remarkably strong punches. Sorry, the name Platypow is just too good. Um, pow. Oh, I forgot I can't type. I'm playing too much uranium. Switch my normal. <laughs> Alright, let's go fight this kid. My unstoppable tag team will leave you in tears. I don't know, kid. We'll see. We'll see. Youngster George would like to battle. And he's got a potter. He's actually pretty good. Ooh, it's level 19 too. Ooh, that did a lot. Yeah, boy. Ooh, quibble. That's the bird, right? Vermont. <laughs> Speaking of too much. Ooh. Sniff, sniff. I won't cry. Big kids don't cry when they lose. <laughs> Wonder if there's any Pokemon here other than, um, other than Platy Pal. Oh, I have 13 potions. the scrap yard there will probably be more. Oh crap. Those are Team Orum grunts. I guess we should fight them, right? Team Orum, more like Team Never Heard of them, buddy. <laughs> I ain't scared a bunch of nerds in costumes. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> oh, I can't believe I used to be like that before we joined Team Orum. Your kids are just playing tough. You kids are just playing tough. Why not join a real criminal syndicate and make something of yourself? Man, can I not? Let's see what else we can find. Oh, Potter. I already have one, though. Oh, man. Nice. Special. I forget. 
which is better. <laughs> I forget if um, Rocket has higher base attack or base special attack. Hmm. A Pompa Runt. Pompadour. Uh, let's see how much magic belief does. Ooh, that did, that's, that's doing just as much as I would like to see. It's doing just as much as I would like to see. That's the words that I just said. <laughs> so maybe we have to take on the gym first. Then. Maybe that's what it's tell, trying to tell us. Well, well, we can at least start to take on the gym. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Right. Imagine somebody's. PC that's gonna help me against steel types by chance. Uh, oh right, we should check out Platy Pow. <laughs> Fighting poison type. Actually could be useful. Discretion. The Pokemon loses no PP following a miss. Oh that's kinda cool. Yeah, honestly, Pow. Steel types might be a good idea to box Vermont for this one. Sorry, Vermont. I love you. You're definitely one of my favorites of this Let's Play. But I, I don't want to see you struggle against these steel types. I think everyone else here could be useful. I'll be back for you, Vermont, I promise. You're seriously, honestly, probably my favorite Pokemon. Oh no. Of all the Pokemon we've found so far, probably you and Cody are probably my two favorites. <laughs> Tinder, we have the strongest bond because we started things together. Rocket and Myth, you two, or Myth has been around for quite some time. Rocket, you've been around for a while. Oryx, I'm just getting to know you, but you've been really great. And Pal, you're new to the team, but I, I, think, I think you're gonna be good. What was your nature? Hasty and highly curious. Is that plus speed? Hell yeah. All right, let's let's do it. Let's. We, pro we probably won't get to the gym leader in this episode, but that's okay. We can at least kind of test the waters with the, the trainers. Ooh, magma. Hey Challenger, you better steal yourself if you're going to meddle with Stella. Good lord. Use fire or ground Pokemon to forge your way through the gym if you want to challenge your tough as nails team. Watch out, they have a really bad temper. Wow, okay, I respect that one. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a deep metal smithing reference there. Hmm. Let's turn it. Okay. Who do I have out front? I have a um, rocket out front. Stella's far too busy to deal with you. Yeah? Well, she better make time, worker Bob. Kraliber? What is this? Sonic, come on. Why are you faster than me? Pretty sure this thing is a water type. Water steel, if I had to guess. Yeah, see, it didn't take damage. <laughs> Wonder if he's in range of quick attacks? If I can avoid taking damage? Well, no, I guess not. 
Oh, well, we resist that. That's fine. That we don't resist. Are you joking? I think you ha you have to be, right? Off with a water gun. Back to work for me then. <laughs> well, okay, that that didn't go well. It didn't go too well, but that's okay. That's why we're here. That's why we. That's why we fight the trainers first. I would like to rest my Pokemon, thank you very much. Okay, I think I'll end this episode here. We got a taste of the gym to come. Uh, and I think... <laughs> chew on my feet. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, but I think next time we will just... Well, we can basically just start off the next episode by taking on that gym. Which will be nice. Um, if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. If you missed any previous episodes... Uh, the link to the playlist should be on the screen right now, but also check the description for that as well. Uh, bang rang. <laughs>